Yo, what's up, sexy Samletter squad? We're doing a uh, an M1A raid here. We got our oh, that tree is all sorts of fucked up. Oh my god, oh my god, all these trees are messed up. Oh, we got our M1A here. We got our huge kit, Gen 4 Assault. We got the Alton. We got the 50 round mags, the Attack 2. We got some meds. We got some M1A that's super stacked. And uh, we're just gonna do some sniping here. I got the 40, uh, the 45 degree angle. That's not how you do that. Hold on. At the 45 degree angle. Uh, if, you know, things get a little too close. But other than that, I'm just going to be hitting up some snipes and woods. You know, if I can spot anyone. Let's see. Here's some shots way over to the left. The fog is really heavy. I don't think I could spot anyone through here even if I wanted to. We're just going to sit here for a little bit, let these uh, these guys that like to be really careful when they spawn in because they got loot or something. Let those guys push up a bit and we're just going to chill out over here. We're going to wait. That's what sniping is, right? Sitting in one spot and waiting for your prey to come along. Don't run at your prey because they will kill you more than likely. Could you imagine if you could get on that spot to snipe? Like, you'd be so vulnerable, but it'd be a really good vantage point. Some cars and shit in the, in the water. There's a scab way over there. I don't know if you guys see him. Right there. See him? See him walking a little bit? I don't know if you can see him. I'm actually really surprised I haven't seen anyone yet. I've seen one scab, that's it. I don't even like scabs down here. I have my sight zeroed in at 100 meters. Which is, which is nice, but... If they're close, it's not going to be that good. <laughs> Gotta shoot really low. Huh. Alright, what do you say we move a little bit? I don't know, knowing my luck the second I get out this rock, I'm just going to get shot in the head. This is an extract for some people, so this is a really good place to like set up. Because if they're over here, if they're on this side, if they spawn over there, they're going to want to run over here because this is the fastest extract they can get to. So you know if they're kitted or they kill someone, they get some loot that they want to keep. They, uh, they're they going to want to run to this extract because it's the fastest one. Or they're going to mind game the shit out of me or run to the furthest extract for less chance of dying. But the thing about that is that over there on the other extract, which is like way down this road over here, uh, a lot of scavs can spawn. And scavs can be pretty deadly. So... I'm going to go down on this, like, beach line and see if I can see anyone. I do hear some shots over at Lumberyard. Sniper Rock, don't see anyone on it. I want to lay down, actually, if I can. I can pull it off and still get my good uh, my good range of motion. Got to lay down a little bit more up. Yeah, there we go. 
Dead scav right there. That scav is a pilgrim on. Someone is definitely going to loot that. So I'll wait. There might be a player who died actually with a pilgrim. Let's just see if I can find him. This is definitely going to be like 150 to 200 yard shot though. So up my zeroing a little bit. Let's keep an eye on this body. Scope out every once in a while so I can get my stamina back up. Don't see anyone. Which is pretty surprising. Kill a scout with a pilgrim on. Those pilgrims sell for like 45k, 50k. Pretty good backpacks. Not on this map, really, because you don't want to be a big purple turtle running around everywhere, but... There's still shots over here. Huh. This is just, uh, this is the name of the game, man. Can I wait out before he goes for the loot or not? Or maybe it was the scav who killed the player and I'm being really cautious for no reason. Let's see if we can move a little bit. Back up here. Check out things are over here. Okay. Let's move. Let's move just a little bit. Go up. that body again real quick. Yep. Still got the backpack on. I want to use all my stamina so I'm going to not uh, run myself to death here. I'm going to take out my 45 degree angle sight uh, because scavs can spawn in this area. <clears throat> and I want to make sure that if scavs do spawn I'm not just going to get completely clapped because I have a like 16 times sight on All right, so I'm gonna move positions over to a more like central sniper location rather than like on the outskirts we're gonna see if we can get a kill here This is where the plane evens out, so you want to make sure no one's here. Then we gotta check out Spine also, because Spine is that big ass rock that everyone likes to snipe on. Oh. I believe I was just taking a shot at. Where though? Hmm. Where was this person who shot at me? Was he on spine? I don't have any stamina, I gotta wait.
Might have moved around a bit. Come up next to me. I really don't know where he is though. Let's go find him. I want to circle pretty heavily around over the spine. I'll take like a circular route or a, a direct route. I want to take a circular route over. Sneaky sniper boy. Here's spine. Couple dead players here, actually. I can't even tell if my laser's on. Whatever. Screw it. Who cares? Oh. This one honestly should be safe to loot because he's some pretty decent cover for me. And then some milk. Okay. That guy's just out in the freaking open. There's two dead players. Yep. Right okay. <laughs> that made me pee my pants a little bit. Only one dead player? Starting to rain. I hate the rain in this game. So obnoxious. Let's check out who killed this guy. Is it a scav or a player? A scav. Kill this guy. Never know. I'll actually take this. Because this raid is going to be long, I might need the hydration. Uh, MP, a little too big for that. Oh my god, a dope ass mustache? I'll take it. Five thousand rubles. Right, let's finally see what this guy's got in his bag. Nothing. Alright. Let's take a, uh, take a heavy circle route around. See if we can maybe sneak up on somebody. I can't really sneak. I'm like, I've Almost 60 kilograms of gear on right now. Almost 120 pounds of just gear. Not to mention how much I actually weigh, so I'm a fucking elephant. I don't think I'll be able to sneak very well, but... We can flank. You should feel bad about yourself if you get flanked by an elephant, though.
really curious as to where that guy shot me from because he shot one bullet, missed, and then dipped out. There's someone. I thought I saw a scab over there. Oh, there's another one bullet. Oh, is it you? <laughs> was it him? I don't think it was him. Because that wasn't suppressed. Unless it was. If that's suppressed, dude, that's a lot of money. Suppressed Mosin? But I don't think that's him. Plus, he'd have to see me from really far before. Let's see. It is a suppressed Mosin. That's actually worth a lot of money. Okay. Let's, uh, let's adjust this. I can put this here, this here, and then put the Mosin on. We're actually going to grab ammo for it, too. Pockets, nothing. Okay. So we found our culprit, our suppressed sniper culprit. Let's go find out if we can see anything else. I can actually afford that extract if I want. It costs money to take that extract, but I did find some rubles on a scav. Push in a little bit and find out. Check dickhead rock. Make sure nobody's sniping there. It's called dickhead, by the way, this rock right here. It's called dickhead because uh, people who use it are dickheads. And they're always snipers and they have good angles on every part of the map. I'm going to check and make sure no one's up here. Yeah. Alright, let me show you. Look at these angles. You can like head peek everywhere, bro. Angles all over the lumber yard. All over the whole map. Crazy. That's why it's called dickhead. Or I just run down here though. Uh, let's go into lumber yard and see if we can find uh, a one scab we had a pilgrim on. I believe it was a pilgrim at least. Dead guy right there. Scab, that scab. While well, he was tanky. Did he even have armor on? He was really tanky. He did not. Maybe that's why he was so tanky, because he didn't have armor on. 
because my the rounds I have in this M1A are really good against uh, armor, or really bad against flesh. And he has no armor on, so I was not doing very much damage per shot. Just keep healing. Make sure we're good to go before I peek my head out there again. Okay, seems like we're good. He isn't there. Got an 8R for me. Mosin, another Mosin. I'll drop this so you can pick up the 8R. Oh, he's got some loot for me too. Alright, thanks bro. Another nade and a chainlet. Okay. Let's run back in here before anyone gets an angle on us. And I want to drink this. So our hydration is at 50. We'll just drink this up real quick. Throw that here. Throw that here. And then we're gonna pick up that uh, night vision scope. It sells for a little bit of money, not a whole lot, but a little bit. And that's guy out there. Probably already looted him. All right. Well, I mean, our backpack is pretty full. Good raid. Only killed a couple of scavs, but uh, they have pretty nice weapons on them. So. That guy was a player scab. Yeah, let's just try to get out of here. We'll check the marked circle and we'll see what's going on. Might as well heal a little bit while I'm walking. Scabs can spawn right here, so I just want to make sure that there are none. I don't see any in my immediate range. Then the 45 angle on. It's here. A Snickers bar and a crouton bar. Or, and croutons. Okay. Not the most helpful of loot, but, uh, you know. Whatever. We sure no one's sniping up that rock. And okay, looks like we're good. Turn the 45 back on, actually. We're coming up to uh, what I call Granny's house. A little house in the woods. Which can spawn some weapons, and I want to make sure that uh, I got my 45 degree angle on because scavs can spawn here. There's like a lot of them, actually, like three or four of them. So I want to make sure that if they're here, I'm ready. They do have a busted leg. So if they shoot that leg, it just simulates damage everywhere. Those were players. Ooh, that is a nice sight. Oh, you know what? I can actually use this for some stuff. Make sure we check the bag. 303 key, not very good. Pockets, nothing in there. Check this one. Pockets, get armor, but nothing really worth my time to be honest. So, we'll just get it going. Actually, I wonder how, if I drop this TT, can I pick up his shotgun? Oh, it's one slot too big. Alright, whatever. 
go pick that DT back up. Okay, never mind, it's gone. Whatever, who cares? Let's go. Want to make sure that we keep our eyes out to heal up because I think I got clipped by one of those shots by the uh, the second scav. There's a scav right there. Painkillers right out. Oh no, come here. Gotta use this ibuprofen. Okay. Let's see, can we see any more scavs? Just as always, I want to be careful and make sure that I'm not going to get flanked by everything. I don't see any more scavs. Okay. Check this guy's backpack and then we're going to leave. The reason I'm checking all these scavs backpacks, by the way, oh, he has an ADAR too, is because um, a key can spawn that's really, it's worth like 20 mil, so it's it's super insane if it spawns. I'll drop this and get the ADAR, the ADAR is definitely worth more, then let's get out of here. I'm just going to take damage from running on my broken limb. Now we're gonna leave. <laughs> Alright, good raid. It's a long fucking raid too though, holy crap. Um killed eight scavs i think two or three of those scavs were uh well player scavs though based on the way that they were playing all right if you enjoyed the video uh like comment and subscribe and until next time guys peace